Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and ground, darling. Let's see what energy we have here today on this beautiful Tuesday. So I kept on getting like I was waking up, like I was getting a download and waking up saying, let it go. Let it go, let it go. You know that song from um, Frozen? So it's like something needs to be let go. And then I then I was just getting um I was getting also let it go. Like let it go. Just let the TKO. <laughs> anyway, so what do we have here? Something first thing out is not for you. Something is not for you, something that you've been holding on to. It's like you have been up in your head trying to make a decision about this whole situation. But it's like uh, the past is gone and the future is uh not here yet, type of energy, okay? So it's like you want to change. You want to change. You want to get away from this because you're tired of being up in your head about a certain situation. Round and around and around we go. Where we stop, nobody know. So it's definitely in the energy of you looking at um, you being fortunate and you knowing that it's a lot of things that you can do by letting something go because you have a never in the soil. You have constant thoughts about something and you're too good to be settling for this. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it. We have the sun, okay. It's like once you realize that this is really not for you, that it's going nowhere real quick, and you step off on faith, and no matter if you're scared, no matter what, you know, it may take, you know, it's a lot of times whenever we change, and we're, we're like fear and change, and there's a lot of thing, times and anxiety and um, you know, being oppressed from our past can hold us back. But you have to get out of that. And if you know it's very much so, I can just say you got to get out of it all day, but it's easier said than done, right? It really takes some strength. It really takes some hard work. It really takes some consistency to get out of that, okay? We have the sun here. So we have happiness. We have understanding. We have vitality. And we have fulfillment. So you're going towards something that's actually adding to your life, something that's making you happy. We have the page of pentacles here. So with the Page of Pentacles, you have definitely been studying a lot. You've been doing a lot of self-work. And as you're doing the self-work, it's like a lot of new opportunities are coming towards you and a lot of things are being um, enlightened and um, illuminated, okay? We have the Four of Wands here. I saw this earlier whenever I was shuffling. And it's like you're no longer going to be settled with doing something that does not make you happy, right? You're bored of that. You're, you're, you're bored of not growing. You're bored of any situations that are not adding to your life. We have the Page of Pentacles here. With the Page of Pentacles, I do see that there's going to be something that is going to surprise you. It's going to shock the hell out of you in a good way, right? Because you are like, it's like, sometimes you may have times in your life and you'll be like, damn, that's all I had to do for this to happen. But it's really divine timing. So it's very much so, so in the energy of divine timing and it's exactly the right time for you to see something for how it is and you to make this difficult decisions to move away from something, right? Because at the point, there was a point in time where you were trying to keep the peace in certain situations, but no, it ain't none of that anymore. You're not trying to keep the peace in any situations any longer. You're just moving away from that. Ace of Pentacles, you're moving away from that and you're going towards opportunities of prosperity. You're going towards things that are going to um like add to your life, right? You're going towards things, pay raises, you're going towards promotions, you're going towards new life cycles, new financial opportunities and growth. Now we have the Ten of Swords. So with the Ten of Swords, you're very much so like at the place in your life where you're like, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. There's been people that have repeatedly showed you one, I mean, told you one thing and showed you a, told something completely different. Very manipulative type of energy, very much so gaslighting type of energy. And you don't have any time for that. You don't have any time for that. You're, like I said before, it's being illuminated and we have judgment here. Judgment in the four of wands. So you're healing. You're changing. You're you're going through an awakening. You can have several spiritual awakenings that just gets you level, like you just level up, right? So through this, we have the four of wands. You're definitely um having a strong, steady foundation. And with that strong, steady foundation, you're very intelligent. Like, it's like you're not going to, you're doing things differently. The way that prior generations may have done things in the past, right? You're doing them differently. You're, you're not that person that you once were. You're not that person that you're going to settle for things. And you're not that person that it's okay for you to have less than. Because you have a lot of dreams and aspirations that you want to go ahead and fulfill. And guess what? In fulfilling those dreams, it's like, it's been it's been a lot of anxiety. It's been a lot of sleep. Like, nobody knows the hard work that you put out. Nobody knows the shit that you have to go through. Nobody knows any of that. 
right? They they may just know like a minuscule part of what you've had to go through. But you know, those long nights, those times when it was just you and spirit, those times whenever you ain't have nobody to call on, but the most high, people don't know about the hard work that you had to go through. People don't know about the struggle. People don't know about the pain, but you're out of that. Like you're in the energy of like, yes, I've gone through this. And I'm just going to continue to grow, right? I'm going to reciprocate for anybody that's going to reciprocate to me. But I'm not going to, if, you know, I don't got no time to waste, right? Can't get that shit back. We have the star and then we have the ten of cups. Um, and I'm getting purchase, purchase commodity, time, okay? So we have the star. You have positive changes ahead of you. And you're going towards satisfaction. You're going towards your happy family, happy relationships. Like, and that's not just like within... Um, like a love type of relationship, new love, whatever. It's like within your family relationship, within your friendships, within anybody that you're going to be having your energy around or be connecting with, it's going to be happy. It's going to be happy because you're going towards what you're aligned with. You're going towards what makes you feel good and you're not settling for anything. Like, it doesn't matter if you was friends with somebody for 20 years. It doesn't, like, that's oftentimes, like, when you're married and, you know, like, how you see, like, and I'm speaking from experience, it's like how you see people that have been married for such a long time and they just, they just like, are not together anymore, right? It's because they grow apart. It's because they don't recognize each other. It's because sometimes whenever you're young and you start to grow and the other partner does not grow or y'all not on the same level, then you separate and it's not the same. So it's definitely like the energy of, you know, there's a lot of people you're separating from, from and a, a lot of people that you're realizing like, damn, I don't know why they're in my energy. I don't know why I even put up with their ass for this long because they don't deserve me. I'm too good for that, right? You're too good to be mistreated. You're too good to be taken advantage of and all of that. We have the queen of wands. You're very generous. generous. You're a very giving person. You're very business minded. You're very ambitious. You're very, um, you give very good advice. And you're very valuable. You're more valuable than you ever know. And there's a lot of people that won't put respect on your name, but they admire you. They're looking at every single little thing. Every little thing you do stays on my mind. So if they're looking at everything you do and they're really understanding that, you know, you buckle down. You started to work on yourself and your life changed. We have a magician here. So you are very much so a powerful manifester. And in saying that, you're beginning something very significant in your life, right? You're concentrating on something and something is about to change. You're, you've been holding on. You've been um, understanding like the power of growth and you just kept on. You just kept on the days you didn't feel like it. What? You pulled this strength out of your ass. Like you ain't know where the strength was coming from, but you knew that you had to reach out to the most high and go ahead and get this strength and keep it going. You know, keep on keeping on type of energy. We have the six of swords and you're moving away from anything that no longer serves you. Any stagnation, any type of devil energy that was trying to keep you held down, trying to keep you boggled down, no, not any longer. We have the fool. You and I don't get no fuck energy. You're doing what you need to do to make you happy. You're doing what you need to do to make you grow, and you don't have any limitations but the ones you put on yourself, okay? And you're not putting any limitations on yourself at this time, right? You're just, um, you're just, um, creating, right? You're just going with the flow. You're just following what you're led to do, and abundance is here. Absolutely positively because you're consistent you're consistent and you're you're gaining a success from being consistent from putting your from like understanding that this these investments that you're making maybe may not pay off right away but as you just really continue to work on yourself they're paying off and there's a different milestones that you will be reaching and you will be looking back like dang i actually went through that and i made through it and i'm going to keep on and i'm going to teach others that they can get to it through it as well so there's a lot of loving energy here, Queen of Pentacles. You're very down to earth. You're very motherly. You're very financially responsible. And then I just see fast movement coming towards you for success. Like you're, you are moving fast towards success and just continue just to change your way of thinking. Just continue to be a positive thinker and just continue to understand that it's all within you. You have the power to change everything. All right, all right, all right. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.